Greetings, I am Pai Sahib. The six scriptures tell us that God first created himself and Naam, or the word of God. Secondly, God created Mother Nature with her diverse life forms meticulously interconnected and interdependent, coexisting in flawless harmony and equilibrium, charmed with the melody and rhythm of his divine will. God beholds nature with loving delight and bequeaths to us its many gifts. One of these gifts is water. After creating all things inanimate, God created water, which is alive. It is from this water that all life sprang. Thus water is life's lifeline. Without water, there can be no life. Water has numerous characteristics, which are used in six scriptures as an analogy to inculcate desirable virtues in ourselves. For example, water's quality of ever flowing downwards to the lowest point is metaphorically expressed to inspire us to be humble. Its selfless cleansing, soothing and refreshing bathing quality prompts us to become parupakari or selfless and benevolent. Its ability to bind with other substances invites us to exercise unity and solidarity. Its property to extinguish fires propels us towards non-violence and establishing peace within us and with others. Its simple chemical makeup, that of two atoms of hydrogen and one of oxygen, H2O, motivates us to adopt simplicity. It has an ability to quench thirst like no other liquid. Fish cannot survive separated from water. A verse in Guru Granth Sahib Ji describes the loving bond between water and fish, wherein fish being taken out of water, killed, cut into pieces, cooked and eaten, still yearns to be united with water by making the person who has eaten it extremely thirsty. This is how we should long to merge with our Maker God. In short, water sustains life, quenches thirst, and pacifies fires. It can be a source of love, harmony, and peace. And whilst merciful God has given us water in abundance, scarcity of water or misuse of it can trigger conflict, leading to untold misery, suffering, and death. Access to water is recognized by the UN as a human right indispensable for leading a healthy life with dignity. Along with other basic needs, it is a prerequisite to the realization of all human rights. The sharing of water and other resources with others can lead to cooperation, collaboration, and peaceful coexistence. Historically, water has, has had the potential to move millions of people in its search. We can, by wisely managing its source and availability, move millions of past hearts as well. Let's protect water. Thank you.